And I have this area here. These are all self-watering. Yeah, so there's, there's, these are, um, I need to put water in there so you can see it, right? These are all, um, my apologies, water spinach. Okay. This is only, um, day two. I planted this yesterday. Um, so they will, I'll try to prune them because, see how, and this, I, use a garbage bag on this hi guys so these are the outcome of my indoor um, planting um, this is basically I did this practically um, I would say two to three days well not straight almost straight but so um, I'm still have to work on things okay, so I'll show you how I did this in a separate video so what I'm planning to do is I'm just going to buy, um, like a, you know, like those ketchup container. I'm going to squirt some water in there for the water reservoir. Um, for this height, this will give me at least two weeks, two weeks to 20 days. Okay. So all of them are created with um, the intention of just placing the water. You, as you can see, I, re I redid this. I have to um, dig in the the onions and replant it. And this one is uh, my new seeding um, container. And again, there's that big hole there. As you can see, this is what I created um, in replacement to um, my... Uh, old uh, indoor planting. So I still have more some DIY to do things here. This is for another tower that I'm planning to do. So I have pretty much three tower. Okay, so this one here, there's a water underneath with nutrients. What it's doing is going to wick up. So I'm going to be cutting this and put some spinach. I still have have seeds this the spinach and any any microgreens that I'll be doing. I will be seeding it today. See, you can see there's a water. Oh, I have to put more water. And this is basil, out of a store-bought basil that, you know, we used to leave part. And that part, I decided to just stick it in one of my indoor planting. Planter? <laughs> planting, yes. And this, these are the, the seeds. I have to open them up. I didn't um, water them yesterday because it still has that moisture. But today I will. So I, I I do it every other day. This is um day five of these seeds, okay? But today I'm gonna be starting a new um seeding um. Hi guys. So I have created like um a three layer um bucket. I created a hole at the bottom um so that I could start um seedling on the first layer. Um, and then the second layer, more so from, you know, ginger, onion, um, um, at times garlic. There's garlic in here, by the way. And the third one is more so for something, uh, you know, a uh, that's a vein. Um, that's a mung bean. And that's um, sweet, um, very sweet melon. Okay, so I have to transfer that. So I'm trying to create so I have a big mess here um this uh, corner area of my house that I'm trying to create um um some you know improv imp improvise um self-watering so I thought of a million things um listen let me google um and uh, gardening with Leon um I found um it's very very I've I've only watched a couple of videos um, but I want to look into it more. So, and I'm going to use this old, uh, you know, I have got tons of these because when I used to do shows, um, this is uh, an old, old one. So I don't mind. Like, I don't want to waste anything if possible. Okay. Because keep in mind, everything goes back to the, the earth and we don't want to put so much burden uh, anyways, okay, so we're gonna have to create a hole. So what I'm going to be doing here 
is I'm going to be showing you how. Um, hi guys, so I'm creating um, improvised um, self-watering um, planting um, because I, uh, I wanted to bring it indoor afterwards. Like I'm planning to make, um, I'm seeding some lemon um, and I'm also seeding a lot of things like uh, beans and um, a sweet, um, a very sweet melon. Hi guys, so here I'm using some old scrap that I don't really need. Uh, I've got tons of these. Like I've used this um, when I did uh, shows uh, in the past. And uh, these are really, um, it comes to durability, it's really, really good. So I decided to use this one. I have thought of a million uh, containers to use, but during summer, I wanted to take them out and then so that they can get the proper sun but then on winter I wanted to bring them in and we only have I live in Toronto Canada by the way uh, but uh, my background is Filipino I'm from the Philippines um, um, but keeping that in mind right we only have like two and a half months of summer and we I wanted to plant something that I could be utilizing in my home right like perhaps like you know I have actually planted this area here is a little it's a chaos in this area because all my planting, um, now it's like nothing anymore, but I'm just, you know, all the leaves are all um, almost gone because I utilize it or consume it um, for soups. You know, I push them on making sure that my kids eat the soup so that they can get the nutrients. And it's a chaos. I have this little area here. Um, for the onions, I've used um, some of them, and I have some area there at the back where I'm, I, you know, I rooted out some basil, and I'm trying some um, bamboo de there and in rows. So that little area here is very, um, very, very, <laughs> um, how to call it? Mud not muddy. Um, like there's if you see like little bugs there that's just normal it's, um, so I have um, the bittersweet melon there is going really really good it's hard to see from the camera but you can see it it's the only one and there's tons of um, um, mole beans okay so I'm gonna be planting that outdoor um, that should be ready I, I'm transferring it to a uh, so that they can breathe, right? There's too much going on there. there it used to be like tons, and um, I need to separate them. And then when it's ready, I'm gonna be planting them outdoor, okay? And then also I'm gonna be um, planting um, other special tomatoes because I've learned more and more about tomatoes. Hi guys, so I'm gonna put a um, marking on where I'm gonna create the hole because um, this one, um, you can use a, perhaps a knife, right? Um, you can use a drill, but I don't want to go in the truck, it's cold for the drill, so I'm using a knife. I need to exercise anyways. My hands, oh shoot, okay. Um, it doesn't have to be like perfect, but you get the idea. And then this is gonna be for the pipe. 